great to be together with ocean advocates from around the country. This is the start of something really great. We need to get together, we need to get organized, and we need to get busy. Environmentalism in the last 50 years has gone from a movement to a societal ethic. And people, you know, overwhelmingly of, of all political parties and suasions, support environmental protection. The problem is that they don't generally identify the environment to include that other 71% of the planet's surface that's blue. We still talk about it as, as the Earth, although from an objective point of view, looking back at this blue marble, we ought to probably call it the planet ocean. Only Jacques Cousteau stood in the foreground and said, hey, watch it, folks. And he predicted that one time there would be an evening when we went over the edge and never realized it, and from there on it would be all downhill. I hope that today we can show that although it looks bad, that that moment has not yet come and that we can still move things uphill a little bit. We have nationally recognized heroes of the ocean, whether it's the Cousteaus or Bob Ballard or Sylvia Earls. But the way we're going to turn things around is from the bottom up, is the seaweed rebels. Your strongest asset is that you are a constituent and that you are local. Um, Obviously, you're all going to talk about Bob. Maybe not the specifics of Bob, but the fact that there is going to be some comprehensive ocean and coastal policy reform bill. And that's on everybody's agenda. I think visibility from the average person on ocean issues is, is increasing exponentially. And I think the seaweed folks here are going to capitalize on that momentum and take it back and try to, well, it's really both. It's going back home, but it's also going up on the hill. Let's start the revolution today. Let's get out on the streets and let's win one. Doing our democratic duty for the ocean. All right. Storm in the hill. Nice to see you again. Seaweed Rebel. I like it. Oh, that is a terrible picture. Look at all that algae. So, we things like advanced wastewater treatment, sewage treatment. We have to start being more loud and vocal, and that's what the, yeah. the seaweed rebellion is. If we can bring the message forward, we've got a much better chance. But we have to fight. I think that will. One more. One more. Ellie could make it. All you have to do for a t-shirt is come here and do your best marine animal imitation. <laughs> you have any applause for this kelp frond here? Well, that was easy. Not to suggest that kelp's easy. The oceans are changing in ways that we simply cannot fathom. And we're losing more and more biodiversity, you know, with every day. There's no equivalent of a blue frontier organization in Europe or in Southeast Asia. So, and I think that we need to really take the vision and expand it worldwide.